Oh yes, I have another trick question for you today. Kind of like the one from before, why should I read books? This one's, this one's a little trickier though. The question is this, who needs a mentor? Who needs a mentor? I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. I can answer that question for you really easy. You, you need a mentor. Why do you need a mentor? Because you don't know everything. There we go, that's the whole message, I'm done. No, seriously, Doug. I don't care what your line of business is, I don't care what your level of education is, I don't care what your family relationships are like or what your home life is like. The truth of the matter is, you need a mentor. You need someone who can speak into your life, who's been down the same path, and this may or may not be someone who's also a coach. It may or may not be someone who's also a boss. It may or may not be someone who sees themselves as a leader in the community or a leader in the world. But a mentor is someone who said, I've walked down that path before and I can tell you where the potholes are. I've been there and done that and I can tell you what's going to blow you up. I can tell you where the danger zones are, where the, where the trip wires are, where the, oh, I didn't mean to say that, might lie. See, we, we all have these dynamics in our human life that are cyclical in the world of human beings and they're repetitive even in our own lives. Meaning there's a whole cycle that goes through being a human. Most of us learn to walk and talk within about the first 18 to 24 months. Most of us get potty trained within that 24 to 48 months. Some take longer. Yikes. Most of us learn to feed ourselves in that 24 to 48 months. Most of us start going to school between 48 and 60 months. Yeah, now we're up to five years old. And if we continue on in our education, there are cyclical things that we learn every year we go through the same process, but there are also repetitive things that we learn in our life. And like every other condition, we tend to learn right after we failed the test. We fail the test of wisdom, of maturity, of kindness, of sharing. <clears throat> you know you've seen that, right? A couple of three-year-olds or a handful of three-year-olds together fighting over one toy. One of them gets violent and punches the other one in the nose or kicks them in the shin or pushes them over. And then they get in trouble for it and they, that's how they learn to share. They failed the test of sharing kindly, and so now they're going to learn to share in a different way. Maybe it's time out, maybe it's some other kind of punishment, but they will learn to share by making mistakes. We all learn from our mistakes. In fact, the ones that don't learn from their mistakes, there's a word for that. It's called a fool. Repeating the same mistake over and over again and expecting a different outcome, that's what most people call insanity. But who is it that helps us? In a classic relationship, it's our parents, mom and dad. Mom and dad are like, no, you have to share. You have to be nice about it. You can't kick somebody or punch them in the nose because you don't want to share your toys. In fact, we're going to take the toy away from you for a while and give it to somebody else. We're just taking it away from you altogether. But it's parents who've kind of been down that road and they've learned how to share in a more polite way and they've learned how to be kind to others and, and that's their job is to teach. But when we become adults, when we finished all of our schooling, maybe even finished our advanced schooling and got our undergrads or graduate degrees and, and we're all smart and grown up and mature and we have our own house and we have our own bills and, and life is chugging along, do we still need a mentor? Absolutely. Because I don't care where you are in life. Someone is down the road a couple more miles than you. Someone has already made the mistakes that you're going to make. Someone has already plotted the course, mapped the course, and said, man, I wouldn't go that way. Now, here's a caveat that you need to be aware of. Sometimes that mentor is way ahead of you in something like technology or a particular game or a particular industry, and yet they're younger. Tell me it's not true the next time you need to find something on Facebook or TikTok or, and you turn to your teenager and hand them your phone and go, here, fix this. Because they're ahead of you in a lot of that technology stuff. I have three-year-old, four-year-old grandsons who can open apps on my phone that I didn't know I had on my phone. 
Your mentor doesn't always have to be older, but when they've got more wisdom in a certain area, more experience in a certain area than you do, you're going to find a lot of value in them sharing that with you. Today on the Servant Leader interview, the Servant Leader series for the uh, Leading Leaders podcast interview series, you're going to find Shannon Alfred. Shannon Alfred is a mother of eight. Yes, I said that right, eight. And it was on purpose. And she's written a book about it. But one of the key things that she talks about is how, as a mother with eight children, she intentionally set aside time for one-on-one conversation, for one-on-one focused, individualized mentoring with each of her children to get to know them, to know what their loves and their passions and their hurts and their fears were so she could speak into their life. And if you watch the interview, you'll hear where she learned that wisdom. You'll hear why she decided this is the way I should parent. And I want you to watch that interview and realize that whether you're a parent or a business owner, an entrepreneur, or a corporate executive, you need a mentor. And today is a really good day to start to find one. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Subscribe now for our extensive video library of leadership lessons promoting faith, family, and freedom.